What's up everyone, Jack here from Gosel's World and welcome to the pickups video for November 2021 and reviews. First of all, let's get started with November. Well, November was the busiest one ever. I mean, loads of new games, everything, new text, Black Friday, Cyber Mondays, so I hope everyone got that um, stuff. So, I did um, two events, felt one here. Well, one shopping vlog and the event. So, the first one was the Power World Universe. I had a good time there. I seen, I hope you all enjoyed see, you know, Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, training cards on graded, felt one here, on a very big prices. So, if you got any cards, make sure you're not counterfeit or fakes. And then, hopefully, if you get a good graded, like a 9 or 10, you could go up to like say a hundred to a thousand pounds for one. And other kinds and other things around. You see there's systems, comics, games, that one here, all be moved around a bit as well. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. If you didn't get a chance to see it, the first video will be on the screen now. And the second one, of course, it was the Nintendo Nottingham event. We did the Mario Kart uh, Christmas e edition. We well, had a big me doing Mario Karty. We actually cover title. Yeah, so it's our first big meet for over nearly two years. But it was a good turnout. I hope you enjoy the video did featuring part of the rounds. Also did a full grand final of the Mario Kart. And also, of course, they did two videos on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, just for nice fun after the tournament. If you didn't chance to see it, the video will be on the screen now. So, give us an update on your room so far. Well, we are nearly there. We're not quite there there yet, but we are nearly there. We're about 90% of the room completion, so... For let you all know, the plasterboard is all did a fantastic job, no holes, there were little gaps on the top of the roofs, but the good news, it had been completely graded, sealed it, and coated. So it's all done with the paints as well. I'm happy with the colour, that one, and I'm just really excited with that. Uh, we also tested the TV aerial, a very long one here, but the good news, it's all in a good sink. We're all ready to get going. So, yeah, so that was that. Um, also, the glass cabinets is all now hooked up, ready to go. The frames that one of my choices is now also hanging up as well. The rugby frames and the pictures from the Sony Gaming Festival is also done there as well. But um, where I got left is the uh, we left is the carpet. The bed, then the gaming desk, and once that's done, and I can put all the games that one here in my room, and that will be the completion. So we are getting there. We are getting there, guys. But I'm really super excited, keen for it. I've seen privately multiple times. I'm happy with the stuff that one here at the moment. So you're just gonna have to wait and see for part two for of the room completion. So let's get straight into the buyings now. There's a couple of stuff here I got from Amazon and Curry's PC World. I got the equipment I have needed. I got the monitor. I got it from like on Black Friday, that one, so even Cyber Monday as well. Also, some equipment uh, one here I'm looking at is all done. So unfortunately, this one won't be featuring in this video. But I'm going to say once again, that will be on part two of the room completion. So... Please wait, watch, wait for it, and you'll see what we're gonna be showing first in store. But I have four items that I will show you. I got items I'll show you for here for today. So this is basically on one PC and three of it for the PlayStation Four. So at the beginning with, so let's start with the stuff that I get. So starting off with the PC, I want to find a a hub. But I don't want to do it on the plug-in port. I don't want to plug. I don't want like a play plug-in adapter one. I want just a simple plug-in play. So everyone, so I got this first item, the USB 3.0 hub. This is a seven-porter. This is perfect for PC 
good for Windows, that one here, and even Macs. So I'm happy to grab a 7 Porter and it's far more better. I paid this for £20. 20 quid, that's a good decent price. Like I said, no power adapter, it's just a simple plug and play. And that's what I've been looking for. So I cannot wait to get plugged in. Hopefully you'll see it in the gaming desk. So that was that. Now then, let's get into the PS4 stuff. Right? Now this is the very serious ones. Now, as you know, the PlayStation, you know, I've been looking at some USB hub points. Like for instance, my first one suggested is this. But I saw like um, on video YouTubes and other kinds of stuff that unfortunately that piece is not the best one to look at. So, so unfortunately it's sometimes it's fair, sometimes it's a little bit broke ones. So, so I look at other other YouTube channels and I found my best advice that I need to get as another USB hub, but this time on a perfect sync, carrying 3.0 and perfectly for one item. So, I got this one. The Ventum 4 USB hub. This one is perfectly for, if you can see in the back. So, like I said, it's perfectly on PC, mobiles, that one here, television, protector screens. But even, of course, this one works on PS4 and PS5. So, that is what I'm happy with. So, Ventum is the best choice to pick. So, and if you can see the bottom right here, there is a little hub. This is where I have to put in my next item that I bought. And basically, I have been safety guideline rules. And I'm just so excited. I've been trying, not practicing yet, but I've seen a few YouTubers who do that the step by step, the easy ones. And I'm gonna go for it. So I got this. Yeah, the Seagate Gaming 4 terabyte for the PlayStation 4. Now, as you know that my PS4 is getting run out of storage and I want to have some games that one so you saw I bought a lot of PlayStation 4 titles so with this one here 4 terabyte you can play over 100 games and that's the one I was looking for, for anyway so how much do you pay for this I put this one here at Amazon is about like 110 but I got 25% off from it so I got it for £85. Yep, £85, that is absolutely fantastic. Better than Argos, better than Close PC World and other kinds of places. But Amazon's got to do a good job of getting this for me. Now, as you know that, I have so seen the video of the guys, so of course they say, if you start sinking into the PS4, then say stop the format. That way, Vans also cut me all the way to go. So I could transfer some gamings into the hard drive. Oh, yeah. And if you say, if I need something, you know, I need to bring this to bring my, play with my friends, I got my hard drive, then all I have to do is simple, is stop the format. So the green icon, that one means is stop the format, you get the green light. If you stop the formatting, that means it's turned grey, that means it's off which means you can safety remove it. If you are removing it, you lose everything. So it is a big resort, but I don't mind for it because this one here, I this system is gonna stay with me in my home now. So every, all the games, everything you go, is all gonna be in this little drive. And I cannot wait to get plug in for it and get some, put some games into this. So, which leads is to the last piece. Now, as you know, for PlayStation 4, they got some, like, if your PS4 is like got overheating and loud noises, well, first one, of course, it, my first attempt it was, again, was like this piece. But unfortunately, this piece is not the best one. I mean, it's not, it doesn't go cooler fan for it, it's go hot and hotter. So it's, that's not the best cooling fan ever. But I do have an item that uh, this one, it does have the cooling fan I was looking at. So everyone, I got this. The P4 series modification cooling stand. This is for probably for all PS4 systems. So whatever PS4 system you got, if you got the original, slim, pro, this piece here is the best one. And also, of course, 
if you can see the green it says 16 this one here I can put in 16 gaming slots that's right 16 of them better than 12 point version I mean I could get more for some fighting games and adventures into this little slots here so it would be so cool and also of course in the picture one you see you got a charging point so you got like the red one means fully charged where we start charging and the green one is fully charged so also in the box it also contains as well so this is what the design look like then also have this little pin there this one is for PS4 Slim types so if you have a PS4 Slim you need one of those and also comes with three four micro USB charging points so it's so cool so in the description so if you got the original PS4 and the Pro all you do it just slot it down yep just slot it down but if you got the if you got the slim model then this is the description you are looking for look for a little a little circle on your system uh, upright then just just give it a nice drill in for it just use a screwdriver to tighten up the system so it won't it won't break or lose it so that's what you need to look for but anyway it is so amazingly cool I paid this for 25 pounds. Yeah, 25 pounds is a bit over the much, but this one is the perfect choice for it. The choice to do that. So anyway, I seen also Ventums um, with chart cooling stands like this as well. It's the same as well. That is also is as good for mute the noise and even the cooling fan, no low loud noises. Don't overheat your system. This one is a perfect power point ones of, uh, of the cooling fan. By the way, I'm really happy and excited to get this, you know, all hooked it up to the gaming room. And hopefully you all cannot wait to get that so we see it on the gaming desk. I just cannot wait to get all put in place, get ready to hook it up and ready to show you everyone. So, so that was that one. So that was the Amazon ones. Let's move it on to the next one, to, to Cast Generator. Now, I have one PSP and one PlayStation 3. So, the first PlayStation Portable, I just score a good one. And I will shut my eyes with a price, and I'm thrilled that I got it home. So everyone, I got this. Yep, I got Tekken 6. Tekken 6 on the PlayStation Portable here. I mean that is so cool. So there's descriptions that one here, the characters you play Lars and Angela. But anyway, that is cool. Now, how much do you pay for this? For CEX is about like eighteen pounds. But on Cash Generator, I got it for seven pit seven pounds. Yep, I save I save a whoppingly um 11 per quid 11 pounds that is so awesome and test it it said they all worked out fine so inside so there's a man there's no manual inside but the disc in costly because I know I played Tekken before so I know how to do my controllings and all sorts so anyway thanks to Cash Generator to get this I'm just super excited to get to start playing for it oh yeah one thing you know I tested all of these second hand games and they all worked out fine. There is no problems, no faultiness. It's all good. So anyway, so that was the first one. Now let's get to the PlayStation 3. And this one, I shot like this. Because now, I have the completion. So everyone, here it is. Yep, Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, yeah. Origins, apologies. Dragon Age Origins is now finally here. I'm super excited, you know. I played it. I played about like a few hours, played a few hours. I'm just so in love with it. Back, go back to playing again. So, there's the back of the screens. I mean, I just really like that. I like that art style for it. It's just so damn awesome. Even though VA services, you know, is old, it's been shut down. But you know, but I don't mind. I'm just gonna just enjoy this playthrough from it. So, for the price for in here, I got this for one pound. Yep, 
Just one quiz for it, for the game. I mean, that is so awesome. Anyway, so there's the manual and the disc in there as well. Type it all off. Cash generators, it never disappoints me. And I tell you what, very, very happy to get those two items here. Now we're moving on to the next one. And there's going to be a game retail. And first of all, did you get the game? Felt on it or Mario Party Superstars. Well, my friends, yes, I did. I finally have it in my collection now. So basically, I got it from Argos, not game, but I got it say for Argos. I got it for doing click and collect. It says sorry with the delay in there because it was sold out so f quick. But I finally have it in my copy. So as you know, the price is of course a forty pounds, which is much more cooler price for that one. So anyway. Haven't played it yet, but hopefully I'll play with the Nintendo Nottingham group and then we're all going to play Mario Party together. But anyway, thanks for that one. Cannot wait to get played for it. Okay, now let's get down to the gaming ones. So, I got two PS4s, two Switches and one accessory perfectly for my bed. I know maybe I'm old enough, but this piece here is so cute and I thought I cannot say no to that one. So first one, sorry with the PS4s. So the PS4 in the beginning with that um, I seen this game for that one here a few times on YouTube and even the ad and trailers. I just thought I'm gonna give it a go. So I got this. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon infinite core? Uh, coded for yeah, combined, sorry. So this one was the last one in stock, brand new for it, I'm so thrilled. I got this for 18 quid for one it, about 18 pounds, so there's screenshots at the back. I mean, I let the game play through in it, so as you know, I did practicing a little, and it's so good. And by the way, if you haven't seen the Is It Wrong to Try Pick Up Ghosts in Dungeon Seasons, and even a movie, watch it. It is fantastic. Especially one thing, I will keep my advice, watch season three. This one is the much watched season ever seen. But that's why I say I love this series since the first one since the first season was started and I'm very in love with watching it. All of the times it's so cool. But anyway, so that was the game. One here, and I can help you get away to start. Next up, now of course Lee. Now, I said before that I got the games on one of the games pre-order, and November was, and so I'm happy to get the physical copy, I played it, and wow, I'm just so in love with it. So everyone, it's this game. Yep, Kenner Bridge of Spirits is finally here in my copy here. I played through it and my god, what an adventure it is. I've seen a few um, nominees of Game Awards and hopefully coming up in next year that uh, this one is the best one. So like this on Disney's Pixar's, but I tell you what, it's just so cool. So luckily I paid £2 deposit, so the original price for this one was about £40, but I got that one there for 38 thanks to £2 deposit. But so cool. My advice get get this game. If you're doing live stream or play through in there, grab it. It is a great game to play for it. I'm just so happy to get them. Now then, let's get on to the Nintendo Switches one. So the two of them. This one is also on special offer. It's not on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. But it was on the offers list. And my friends playing it that uh, play like Monster Hunter stuff. Like Monster Hunter Rise. And the question is, did you get your copy? You're damn right I got my copy. Yep, so the game that one here was about like £45. But I got this on a deal for £38. I mean, that is so awesome for it. I have played through in it, and it was so cool. I managed to get play on Monster Rank 4. So, um, anyway, I'm really happy. My friends with Nintendo Nottingham 
Get Lobby help me out with the beasts and what weapons and stuff. Cannot wait help and it was such a great game and I love it. Now, next up to the last one of the Switch, I had made a choice to go for it or not. One thing though, know, I was supposed to get a double pack, but unfortunately it was all sold out. So unfortunately it's gone. But I said why just get a physic why to get a single game and so I went for it. So everyone, I got this. Yep, Pokemon Brilliant Diamonds. Yep, I made a decision, you know. Uh, when I was got an Nintendo DS years ago, I always go with the Diamond version because Dialga is the best Pokemon I have seen for it, and I'm really happy to get it. But I've seen people live streaming from it, and it, they are absolutely in love with it. So, very nicely VD graphically, they did fantastic well, thank you um, Nintendo Pokemon Company, you did a fantastic job. So for the price I went there, if you didn't go for pre-order, it's about £50, but I did pre-order it for £2 to pause it, but I got this for £48. And I've not played it yet, but I was so busy playing Monster Hunter Rise, but take it all off, I'm just really excited to get that copy. So. And it leads to the very last piece of item, the accessory. What are you going to put it in your bed? Well, I have seen this on Twitter and it looks so adorable for it and cute. Luckily, I got it in a nicely bag. So everyone, I present to you now, this is the big one. Ta-da! Yeah, look at that. It's a 18 inch plush Pikachu plushy toy. Oh, man, they're so cute. Look at them. It's cute. But anyway, I got the Pikachu. As you can see, the price here got it for about £28. £28 is so cool. There's also others. There was a Charmander, there's a Snorlax, and then even an Eevee for that one here. So this one is just so I've been released it and I thought this is such cool. This is perfectly for my bed and you get nicely cushy for it. Look at it! It's so cute! It's so cute! <laughs> but it's so I thought Pikachu is the best choice for it and anyway, super thrill getting that piece, that one, and I'm really happy to take it home. So that will be in the bed. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the very last one. It is the CEXs. Now, the CEXs, of course, they go from Victoria Center and Old Market Square. So I'm going to do it with in order. So Market Square will go first, and then Victoria Center goes last. So, anyway, the first one I started with, I got two PlayStation 2s, one PS3, just give, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, and one Xbox One. So I do apologies. I just got a, I got a lot of mats I went on the on my paper to write down with. So yeah, so two PS2s, one PS3, and one Xbox One. So let's get started with. So the PS2 ones. This one here, I was about this game, bought this game, but I cut my eyes off and I said, right, I want that piece to it. So everyone, I got this F1 2005. We call it F105. Yeah, the 2005's one. I mean, I like the designing for one again. We got the Bar Honda. We got the new team, the Red Bull, is now making their debut. And of course, they ride the yellow, it's the Jordans. Now, in 2005 season, that this was the Jordans' last ever season. So it was so sad. I like the Jordans, and even I like the McLarens as well. Still my favorite McLaren type of guy. But, um, you know, two of my favourite racing teams, you know, so awesome to have done. And um, that's why I think in a playthrough, I played the Jordans, just for a nice fun for it. So in the back of it, you can play it on the 2005 season, on your career mode, a little bit more improved than since 2004. So, anyway, what I'm going to hope you do is get this play through it, and I'm going to play the Jordan team on my name on it. So I hope you do a new career, and hopefully can play for this. So, how much do you pay for the F1? 
I paid this for a one pound. Just one quid. I mean, that is so awesome. So there's the manual and the disc. So really, really happy with that one. Now, next up to the last PlayStation 2. This one, I just couldn't believe it. I just really cannot wait to get this game. It's not very, very rare, but this one is the most most popular one on the company Kune. You're thinking, is it Metal Gear Solid? No. But I got is this lovable game. Yep, I got Zone of the Endless. Zone of the Enders for the PS2 here. I mean, this is so cool. I actually, I was seen watching video from there, and it looks amazingly gameplay and story. So, I thought there is one in Nottingham or Rocky Square, and I'm going to get that copy. So anyway, there's the back of the screen. So, for this price, I got this for £2.50. £2.50 for the game. So here is the manual and the disc. And I said to you all guys again, all of them have been tested and it all worked out okay. So that was the PS2s. Now let's get into the PlayStation 3. Now this one, I just managed to score a deal. Originally it was about £15, but it was gone down from £12 now. And I got this lovely game. I never played this before. I seen lots of few times on YouTube and I saw, right, I want to get that piece. And I got this. Yep, it is the creators of Devil May Cry 4 Single Kubasara Samurai Heroes, the third installment. And I mean, it's so awesome. Like, you see here, creators of Do Devil May Cry 4. Basically, if you play like Destiny Warriors and some kind of the stuff, and One Piece Pirate Warriors, then you might look at it's about like the same style. But anyway, I'm just really cannot wait. To get this started playing for on here. I like the introduction, it was so awesome. And hopefully, I did a little practicing from it and did a good thumbs up. So, anyway, and there's the, the, the manual and the, and the disc. And the disc got here, it looks so cool. I like that to disc designing, did a fantastic job on it. And so, we get down to the very last one of the All Market Square CX. And this one. I just struck gold and I'm happy to say I'm thrilled to say I have the completion done so everyone it's this yep Devil May Cry HD collection is finally done I'm really really happy to get everything all done for it so anyway I have paid this for 18 pounds 80 pounds for the game. Well, originally it was about 12, but Devil May Cry is going up a bit for it, so they are going up. But I tell you what, I made a good decision to get this to the game. You know that is the Hasty Collections all done. I mean, I don't got everything now. So now I have the PS3, the Xbox 360, the PS4, and now the Xbox One all done. So break said, there's no manual inside, but the disc is there as well. I mean, really nicely done indeed. So anyway, I am super, super thrilled at getting those games for this game set to CXL Market Square. So now we get down to the last one, is Victoria Center CX. And these four are scorers, and I'm really thrilled to get in those types of games. So the first one, with the Xbox One. And I got this. Yep, I got Borderlands 3 for Xbox One. Absolutely thrill and exciting challenge this is. I think one thing you know, I was at Insomnia Gaming Festival. I played Borderlands 3. I play it on the PS4 version. And also I play the Xbox version. And I'll tell you why. It is such a great game. It was that one here. The controls were a little bit difficulty of Xbox. But I learned from it. But I do learn very well there on the PS4. But anyway, I'm just really excited to get to play it on the Xbox again. Well, this is the first time on the Xboxes. So anyway, it's the inside of it. Little manual and the disc. So how much do you pay for this? For the game here, I got it for a tenner. Just ten pounds, 
I think it's a very decent price, but hopefully we might go up a bit if it goes to successfully more. So anyway, so that was the Xbox One. Now let's get down to the PS4s. So I got three of them. And next one, of course, I think you might quite surprised what I got. I played this game before, and now there's something I have which decided to bring it back. <laughs> yep, another yep, another Borderlands three for the PS4. I just so missed it so much on the play on the PS4 system, and I just want to get it to go for it again. So anyway, again, so there's the back of it. You see the characters you'll be doing. So I usually play like uh, I play like a Fisco with uh, like with the um, the Fisco like a majestic power one. But anyway. So inside, there's no manual or anything else, but it got the disc in there as well. So, how much did you pay for this? Well, this game was originally about like £8, but it's been gone down to 6 quid. I'd just say 2 quids worth from it, but I'm really happy to get in that one for Borderlands 3. Now I have, now I have the both completions of Borderlands 3. Now, I know there is... There's a Borderlands 3 Special Edition on the PlayStation 5. I'm hoping we're going to get that just until I get my PS5 or hold a PS5 next year. So that is my guarantee. I'm going to get the PS5 for next year. Hopefully with more big games and hopefully maybe get a System Editions or anything else. But I just cannot wait to get my hands on it next year. So anyway, moving on. Now, next game of course, see, now... This one, I have got this one from, from Idea Factory, the, the company. And I have watched the opening, and it was so cool. The gameplay was also cool as well. I thought, it's like expensively, but I'm just, I'm just happy to get it. Yeah, I got Fairy Fencer F8 at the Dark Force. This is the updated version from the P. This is the newest version from the PS3 one called Fairy Fencer F. But this is the updated one that contains the story of the continuing of this wonderful journey. But it's so nicely cool. I've seen the playthrough in it. I know you get a chance to play through in it. But I watched the videos for it and it was so awesome. I like the introduction, the gameplay, perfect image. So inside. So there's the, you can see the manual and the disc looks so cool. It's like um it's like a little gore horrifying like Fire Fantasy. You know, by Fire Fantasy odd makers, but it's so awesome. But if you got another choice, there is another sleeve up on here. If you just excuse me. So you can choice. You want to stick with this one, or you wanna go with this one. But anyway, I love that designing here, so that's you can swap any places as long as you got like a code. But anyway, I'm just really, really thrilled of getting like this game. And like I said, I'm just really, really so thrilled. Cannot wait for this. So I paid this for £38. I mean, I mean, I've seen a bunch of British British for like 30 but the game has been going so well, the prices went up. So, it's nearly came close to what? It's nearly came close, like say, to forty pounds. But I think it was if it was brand new, you're looking at about fifty. So, you're gonna about about twelve pounds sorted. But it is a good game to play for it, and I cannot wait to get side for that. Now, I said the very best for last one, and this game here, I will shut my eyes. I found it, and I'm so happy to thrill to get this copy. It's basically on the game Capcom. It's not, no, it's, no, it's not Street Fighter, it's not Monster Hunter, and it's not Resident Evil. I'm talking about this game. Yep, Alchemy HD. Yep, this wonderful masterpiece Capcom game has ever seen. Now, I was attempting to get the PS2, unfortunately, it was sold, it was sold out. I couldn't find it anywhere in Nottingham, like Victoria Centre. Uh, Old Market Squares, Derby, anything else, but 
but hopefully I'll try to get that original PS2 game in the future, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find it. But anyway, this is the, uh, in the back of there, this is absolutely a stunning HD remastered, but also this game here, that you can play 4K Revolution. As long as you got a Play S4 Pro, then you can play 4K Revolution on this wonderful piece, this masterpiece of the game. So inside, so we just got a little bit of warranty one side here, but but the disc, of course, say, I love that art design. It's based on Tokyo, ancient times. But I tell you what, it is such a great game here. I know for the fact there is an Xbox One version. I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, going to get that soon as well. And also I'm going to get a PS2 and then we'll get ready to play this game. But I tell you what, I'm so happy to feel the game this. So I got this for £18. Eighteen pounds for this wonderful piece of the game. Nicely saved your best for last for it, but never disappoints. I know CX, it's got like some expensive leads, but but they are doing they are like very good with keeping protected your discs. Well, specifically for PS 3s 4s Xbox 360s, ones, and all kinds of stuff. But I tell you what, what a lovely pickup! I just really happy with. The stuff I went from Amazon, Cash Generator, Game, and CX. A good monthly watch for November. But I tell you what, hopefully you can all wait excited to go look at the next installment. Was it December? And hopefully December is the where that my room will be completed. So, fingers crossed for that one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of this massive pickups video. And then remember... Drop a big massive like for the video, drop down in the comments below your thoughts on the stuff I you have seen today's video. Don't forget to click punch, the subscribe button, and tap the bell for notifications to see more videos very soon. So then, this is Jack here. See you all later.